I'm angry because I found out last week through Purple Papers. What that means is City Hall puts confidential information on Purple Papers and as a councillor I can't go public until I'm given permission to go public. So at noon on Friday I was allowed to go public that in the 2013 budget my fire station on Runnymede is being closed. That will affect the response time of, an, of a fire truck getting to a home in my ward. I think that's not long enough notice. I think it's despicable. My residents should have been pre-warned about this before 48 hours when I have, am now arranging an emergency meeting for them to come and bring them up to speed on what's happening in this new budget. What are you hearing from uh, what, um, what are you hearing from your residents about how they're feeling about how this is all happening? Well, they're frustrated. They're furious. On Monday and Tuesday of this week, the city is hosting residents coming to do deputations about the budget. My residents found out Friday at noon that, noon that they are losing a fire station. Deputations are on Monday and Tuesday at City Hall. They need a chance to get ready to go and do a deputation. Why are we not being transparent? Why are we not informing residents in advance that they are losing a life-saving service? When the mayor came in, he said, no service cuts. Well, I'm sorry. This isn't a matter of how many days between cutting grass. This is someone's life and death. The fire department saved properties from burning. A property is normally the biggest investment anyone in the city makes in their life. But they don't just put out fires. They go for medical emergencies as well. Normally, our fire trucks are the first one on a medical emergency scene. The ambulance comes as quickly as they can. We're short ambulance. We're short EMS. This is going to put my residents' lives at risk, and I think that's despicable. As I say, it's, it's, I'm, I'm almost speechless, which is very unusual for me. But we were able to arrange this emergency meeting. We're very fortunate the uh, fire chief has joined us today to explain to residents that because this administration told him to come up with a zero budget increase, this is the kind of thing he has to do. They haven't done it by choice. They've done it because this administration has told them this is what they have to do. What, do, what are you hearing from your residents? My residents are frustrated that I've only given them 48 hours notice. Um, we managed to get it in some of the local newspapers. We managed to do it through Facebook, email, as much as we can. But as I say, the, depending for where the fire truck comes, which station the fire truck comes from, depends how quickly it gets to a property or to an emergency. You take one of those trucks out of that equation, it's obviously going to take longer. That's on first response. What happens if we need second or third response? What happens if, for instance, our Swansea fire truck is out, Runnymede no longer exists, where's the truck going to come to go to the south part of the ward down by the lake? They're not getting there in those four minutes, 52 seconds, believe me. I can't get there that fast. They definitely aren't doing that. Therefore, I feel that my residents aren't being protected the way they should be by the city. Where do you go from here? I mean, you're having this meeting tonight, sorry about that. Where do you go from here? Where we go from here is let residents have a say. The budget speech, uh, deputations Monday and Tuesday, um, their cutoff to register was Friday at 4 p.m. I have made an arrangement with the budget chief at anyone from my ward who would like to come and speak on this topic he will allow them to do so. So I'm going to be informing residents at the end of what, before, at the beginning of the meeting, but if they want to give me their names at the end, I will get them on that deputation list. We're going to be doing petitions. If you can't come and do a deputation, I'm encouraging residents to write letters. Every councillor, all 44 councillors, need to know what this new budget is going to do to this ward. Thank you so much. Do you have any more questions? Do, yeah, do you, do you think this is inevitable? Is this going to happen, or do you have a chance of... Uh, of of, of making this fire station, you know, stay alive. Well, residents who know me, who voted for me, and even those who didn't vote for me, know I don't give up. Um, before I became a councillor, we did a lot of good in this ward. As a councillor, we've saved a lot of things so far, and I plan to save this station. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you.